In today's video, I want to talk some more about Spectre WM. Spectre WM is a fantastic window manager, and it has quickly become one of my favorites. And since I made my first video on this window manager, there's been some new releases over the last few months, and they've added some features, such as in version 3.3, .3, we got a new option for the bar. And you know, like a bar action expand option in the spectrewm.conf, which allowed for more than one font color and more than one font. Um, and it, it also added uh, emojis or Unicode support, you know, among other fixes. Then 3.4 was released, and that was just released a couple of weeks ago. And that has allowed us to specify a certain config file at launch with the dash C flag. And it also increased the bar hard limits to accommodate for more complex markup sequences. Well, so in other words, you can make fancier bars. But uh, today, I kind of wanted to show what it would what it looks like on Debian as of right now, because Debian in the standard Buster repos is at version three point two, which is still a really good version. There's a but you're missing some of those new features. And I know, I know, when you're using Debian, you're not supposed to suffer from the shiny new stuff syndrome. But it'll be okay. We're going to do this the Debian way. Let's get started. Here we are in a virtual machine. This is Debian Buster. And I'm running Spectre WM version 3.2. So if I clear the screen... Actually, let me go in and increase this font size. This is your XVT. So let's do pm.x defaults. All right, so if I do specter wm v, you see that I'm running version 3.2.0 right now. But the newest version is 3.4.1, which is actually a point release of the new 3.4 version. So let's take a look over at the GitHub page and see what we can do to get this new version running on Debian Buster. So over here in our web browser, I've just gone to github.com slash conformal slash specter wm and just clicked on the releases here and this will pull up all of them here so this is the newest one through uh 3.4.1 you know 3.4 3.3 so let's say i wanted to download this one uh, you can you can do a git clone or what have you but i've done a bunch of those in the past let me do a uh, download the zip file. So when you click on this, it's going to give you a pop-up, which my, which OBS is not going to capture, but it says you've chosen to open SpectreWM dash SpectreWM three underscore underscore one dot zip. Just choose to save the file and, and click OK. So if we CD into downloads, you see that I have I have SpectreWM three underscore under, underscore four underscore one dot zip. So now we can do. Actually, I don't think I have unzip installed, so let's say sudo apt install unzip. Okay, apparently I do. So unzip Spectre WM. And you see I have Spectre WM installed here. If I want to move this to home slash git. And it's there. So cd home slash git. And there's my Spectre WM. And I want to rename that. So move Spectre WM to all right. So that that's named a little better. So let's just cd into that. And you, you're going to see a few different uh, 
things that, you, that it can be built for. There's a free BSD one. There's a Linux one. There's a NetBSD, OS 10, uh, different key bindings and all that. So where we want to go is the Linux folder. So we're going to CD into Linux. All right, so, so once we're in the Linux folder, we can run an LS and you see that we have bar action dot sh which is which is just an example of our bar script that that's going across the top uh linux dot c a make file pledge dot h spectre wm dot desktop tree dot h and util dot h so the first thing you, you're going to want to have installed of course is build essential so just install that with apt so i'll just give you an example sudo apt install build dash essential just run that command and it, it will install pretty much everything you need to run the make program the only thing that you may have to worry about is the dependencies for the package that you're trying to make so let me go back to the home folder and you see i have a script written right here spectre wm dash depends dot sh so let's do dot slash Spectre WM depends. I'm going to give that the yes, and it's going to install all of the the dev versions of all of the uh, libraries that were needed for Spectre WM, and that is, and you can get a list of all of those of everything that you need for from apt show apt show Spectre WM, and all I did was I created a script out of these right here and just made sure that I include that I use the dev version because I'm pretty sure you would need newer versions of this of these libraries for the newer versions of Spectre WM. This is editing Mike and I misspoke right there. The dev packages actually contain sim links and headers and object files needed to build the let's software. Get back where they're we're not work. necessarily and the let's run newest make. packages of those. You you actually need those to build the software, not you just see, to it didn't, it not didn't just the libraries. Do so yeah, <laughs> that. So back to the video. sudo apt. Now let's get back where we were, and let's run make. Okay, we need the X render library. So let's do make again. And you see we don't have the FT2 now. All right, and we successfully built the package. Let's look at how we run it now. So what I want to do is actually create a sim link for this right here, for this binary, Spectre WM, in my .bin folder, which is also in my path. So let's say ln-sf home slash Sorry, my mouse was in the way. Home slash git slash Spectre WM dot, uh, dash 3.4.1 slash Linux slash Spectre WM and home slash git slash Spectre WM. This is editing Mike once again. Uh, I misspoke again. That was actually supposed to be in home slash bin instead of home slash git. I kind of have a hard time typing and talking at the same time, so I'm going to leave this in, but just know I'm going to pay for that mistake later. 
So now we we have symlink to this. So now if we go in here and actually edit Linux.c or you know anything in here and we rebuilt the program, it would automatically read from the read from the the newest make file or the newest ugh, it would actually read the newest version that we just made automatically as long as it was as long as it the output was Spectre WM. So let's clear the screen and let's go home and now let's actually remove Spectre WM from that we installed with apt. So sudo apt remove Spectre WM. Let's do sudo apt purge Spectre WM. Let me see, we still have We see we still have our folder, so and now let's go ahead and log out and log back in and see if it worked. And my key binding for that is mod shift Q. Now I can just run start X. Actually, we're going to vim.xnrc, and that is correct. And let's do vim.profile. And just to show that when the home slash bin directory is included, it is automatically put into our path. So now we can just run start X. Okay, I guess I was not okay. I guess I mistyped something as it's hard to talk and type at the same time. So let's do ln dash sf home slash git slash spectre wm dash three dot four dot one Linux spectre wm and put that in home slash bin slash Spectre WM. I was wondering why I had a Spectre WM in my Git folder. So apparently I I misspoke, which caused me to mistype. So let's run that. Let's go home and start X. All right, and that worked. Let's do. All right. So now let's let's take a look and see what our version is. So Spectre WM dash V. And you see that did work. We're on 3.4.1, whereas we were on 3.2.0. And the only thing we did was we downloaded uh we downloaded the package from GitHub. We installed the dependencies. We made the file, and then we symlinked it to our bin to our bin directory. Instead of running, you know, sudo make clean install or sudo make install, we actually just made the made the binary and symlinked it over to our uh, into our path. And honestly, that's the easiest that's the easiest and safest way to do that in Debian. You can run sudo make install but it's not exactly the safest way to go about it. So that's about all I've got for today. Uh, it was a fairly easy process once we got all of the dependencies and everything out of the way and me trying to type and talk at the same time and I kind of messed up. But anyway, nobody's perfect. So I just kind of wanted to show that as far as if you wanted to get the newest version of Spectre WM, installed on Debian Buster without having to without having to upgrade or have without having to upgrade to uh upgrade to Bullseye or the testing branch or to SID, the unstable branch, or without having to use the back ports or anything or anything like that. If you just wanted to leave leave your packages alone but still get the newest version of Spectre WM, 
there you go. So, thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice evening. Like, share, and subscribe.